Welcome back to AZ Holistic and the CBD Studio and Dispensary here in Phoenix. We're going to do a quick video. I'm going to talk a little bit about CBD for warts. Everything you need to know. So what are they? Well, warts are small, grainy skin growths that occur most often on your fingers or hands. Common warts are caused by a virus and are transmitted by touch. Warts are, in fact, contagious and can spread fairly easily. Warts occur when the virus comes in contact with your skin and causes an infection and can also multiply depending on what type of wart it is. So, how do we get them? Well, warts are more likely to develop on broken skin, such as a picked hangnail or areas nicked by shaving, because the virus is able to enter the top layer of skin through scratches or cuts. Now, these small, non-cancerous growths appear when your skin is infected with one of the many viruses of HPV. The virus triggers extra cell growth, which makes the outer layer of skin thick and hard in that spot, sometimes growing um, into a little high pile area, as we've seen. While they can grow anywhere you have skin, you're more likely to get one on your hands or feet, sometimes on the knee, sometimes on the elbow. The type of wart depends on where it is and what it looks like. So, different types of warts. There are many types of warts that look different and some spread while others may not. There are planter's warts, filiform warts, flat warts, and also genital warts. So, how long does it take to get rid of them? Well, over time, your body will often build up a resistance and fight off the infection, but it may take months or as many as two years for them to disappear on their own. Doctors aren't sure why some go away after time and others do not, but most warts are harmless and you don't need to do anything unless, of course, they're painful or embarrassing depending on where they're located. A wart might get bigger, new warts may appear, or you could give them to somebody else. As far as treatments go, the best treatment depends on your age and health and the type of wart. There's no cure for HPV yet, so some of the virus may stay in your skin after the wart is gone and potentially reappear later. This all depends on each person's immune system. And as we talk about here at great length in a lot of different facets here at AZ Holistic, uh, CBD helps with immune support, which is why we think that it does make sense to maybe use CBD on your warts. Removal types. There's different types or different ways to get rid of warts. Cryotherapy freezes the wart off. Electrosurgery burns the wart off with an electric charge through the tip of a needle. There's laser removal. Curatage, which is scraping of the wart with a sharp knife or small spoon-shaped tool at the doctor's office. And another option is excision, slicing the wart off or cutting it out with a very sharp blade. Now, caution. There are other ways to remove the wart, but use caution. Chemical-based creams with glycolic acid and stronger salicylic acid and trentinin could do the trick, but again, these are fairly aggressive chemicals. The DCP you see below here and the uh, otherwise known as Aldera irritate your skin to encourage your immune system to go to work in that spot, but some chemicals can have side effects. And remember, all chemicals soak into the bloodstream, so be careful if you decide to use that method. Now, CBD for relief. We have seen a lot of people use CBD on the warts, depending on where they're located, and we've seen decent success. It doesn't go away for every person, but I would say about 70% of the people we've seen are using CBD on the wart, and it tends to go away within about six weeks. CBD is a natural antifungal and natural antibacterial agent, so it is an inexp inexpensive and viable way to remove warts with no chemicals. So we would suggest clean the area well 
and then apply a few drops of CBD oil on your finger and rub directly onto the wart two to three times a day. Now the potency of the CBD in the bottle, the higher the better. The higher the potency, the more antibacterial, the more antifungal. So maybe get yourself at least a thousand milligram bottle, which equates to about two milligrams per drop and make sure that you put it right on the wart two to three times a day and make sure you wash your hands when you are finished. Okay, it's also important to be aware of how to stop the spread. There's no way to totally prevent them or prevent the spread, but you can lower your chances of getting or spreading them. Don't touch or pick or scratch your wart or touch someone else's, obviously. Wash your hands after treating the wart with whatever treatment type you desire and uh, keep foot warts dry. Foot warts on the feet really like that fungus. So a lot of men or women that go into locker rooms or use public gyms or restrooms, they may get the bacteria uh, just from uh, not protecting their feet. So wear waterproof sandals or flip-flops in public showers, locker rooms, restrooms, or around public pools, and that should help prevent the spread. Hope this has helped you get a little bit of idea on how to treat warts with CBD, and thanks so much for watching.